the Ajino and the children, I'm going to take one of our Izu. Welcome back to another video of Mama Flazzy. So, guys, in today's video, I will be prepping food and I'm going to be, you know, we are going to cook this food together. And right now, I want to start cooking and I'm going to show you the things I will be using. And uh, I will be making stew and uh, um, stew and a goosey soup. So, in here, guys, let me show you guys. So, in here, this is the one I will be using for my stew. This is what I'll be using for my stew. And uh, in here, this is what I'll be using for the soup, for the agusi soup. And also, I have here some, some cow's ki. What do they call this? It's shaki. I have shaki here. I'm going to boil it and uh, share it into two. One part will be going to stew. One part will be going to the soup as well. And this is my cow leg and the... Uh, Bomo. This is my cow leg and bomo. I will be using half of it for my stew, half of it for my soup, you know. So this bomo is very hard. Is the is the head side. I don't know what they call it. Yeah, this side is the head side, you know. This one is very strong, you know, and the cow leg also. So I'll be using pressure pot to boil this one separate and these two. Okay, and uh, let's move on. So this is also the fish I'll be using, guys, this fish, and uh, this fish tastes so good. What I'll be doing, I'll be using this fish. This is smoke uh, catfish. I'll be using it for the stew. I'll put it inside the stew, but I'm not going to eat it today. I will allow it to soak inside the stew. You guys know what I mean. Then the next day before you eat it, if you really want to enjoy this fish, when you make the stew today, don't take the fish out of it. Leave it and let it stay in the stew till the next day when you eat it. That's stew. Hmm this fish got guys so i'll be using this fish also in my stew i really love it and in here i have the things i'll be using for the so this is the egusi this is the egusi i will be using i'm cooking big pots i'm a big family i have a big family not i'm a big family i'm a flossy so i have a big family so this egusi this is what i'll be cooking for the soup and this is my crayfish this crayfish, your sister gave it to me yesterday. She dashed me. She, the husband came from Africa last week because I went there to, to buy this dry uh, smoked fish. I bought it from her. So she just gave me that. And uh, this is the fresh pepper I will be using for soup. I don't have dry pepper. I prefer dry pepper in my soup, but I don't have dry pepper at the moment. I'm going to use what I have. So this one, I will be using this one for the stew. And this is the bitter leaf I will be using. I have this bitter leaf at home. This is wash bitter leaf. You know, this bitter leaf. So, and I have spinach. I will be adding a little portion of spinach. So, I will be adding also this spinach. And um, all these are my seasoning. So, I don't have salt here. I have curry, curry, rosemary, and uh, aromat. So, and my maggi and salt. I don't use too much of seasoning. But maybe later I'll be using fresh fresh uh, garlic in my stew. I don't know yet. Because my husband don't like that, that scent. So, let's get into the cooking. So, guys, this is the fish I will be using to prepare my... To prep my food today. Mm, so, I just want to start by drying it now. So I didn't show you guys when I was cleaning it because cleaning fish is not something that is fun. It's so nasty. So now I'm going to sprinkle some salt and uh, put it inside the oven to dry. So this how I fold it. You can see the other two. I fold it different way. These two are the last fish I have in my freezer. 
No, I don't have it anymore. This, this fish is different. This is what we call isese. Why the rest are makere fish. So let me sprinkle some salt to it and uh, allow it to, to dry. So let me pop it now into the oven. So in here I have my pressure pot. I will be adding my cow skin and the cow leg and the shaki. So I'm going to boil this one first. So I will allow it to cook. Now we'll be adding the meat I'll be baking the, the soup with first. So, it. I'm not going to add anything to it. I will allow the water to cook itself. I will just add salt and the maggi. So now I will be adding this maggi seasoning. Don't know what you guys call it, too, but you know what I mean. So I'm just adding some um, nutmeg, a rosemary leaf. And some salt, and I will cover it too. I will be using this one for the egusi soup, so I'm not going to add curry into it. So, guys, this is the smoked fish. Uh, I just have to turn it. So, if you want to turn your fish, somebody will say, Mama Blouse, are you? Do you serve fish before? If you want to stir your fish, always dip your hand inside water, okay? So, you have to dip your hand inside cold water. Eh? It will make it to be easy for you to. So, so hmm? I hope you learned something. So, that's how we normally dry fish those days. Because my mother don't like, my mom don't like uh, fresh fish inside her soup. But me, I like fresh fish in my soup. But depend on the fish, I don't, not all soup. Like if I want to make bitter leaf soup, like my, my country bitter leaf soup, Asian bitter leaf soup. I like fresh fish, you know. But my mom don't like it. She likes only dry fish. So, so now I have turned the fish. You guys see that? I have turned the fish. And now I'll be putting it inside the oven again to dry. So guys, this is the tomatoes I will be using to make the stew. I'm going to blend it now. I'm going to blend it and uh, pour it inside this pot and boil it before frying the stew. Keep on watching. So guys, if you have watched this video to this time and you have not subscribed, what are you still waiting for? 
please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification that way you will receive a video anytime i upload a new video for my new and old subscribers i just want to say thank you all for always coming to watch my video i really appreciate so it's time for me to start frying my egusi soup this egusi soup and guys hey since i prepare this too i'm just eating semo almost every day guys it tastes so yummy keep on watching and make sure you cook this delicious food for your family okay don't forget to share this video with your friends and give this video a thumbs up there is something i realize these days guys you guys don't give my video a thumbs up what have i done to you guys please give my video a thumbs up oh okay when you cook this food there your husband will increase your feeding money because huh, this soup eh i don't want to talk too much this is what i call small but mighty okay keep on watching enjoy the rest of the video bye for now so guys so guys as you can see from this video i'm just turning my soup this is what we call obeto do Ogoloka. let me translate it for you guys it means sweet soup now money kill and the evil people will say oh for weary but this one pass off for weary oh this one pass off for weary my people make sure you cook this soup for your family they will love it you will come back and say Thank you, Mama Flozzy. Let me leave you. May you enjoy the rest of this video. See you and keep on watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't be this. So I will be missing the dough for the buns. My children said I should make buns for them. It's my twins' birthday food preparation. I need to obey, I need to do it, whatever they wish, I need to do it for them. So right now guys, I am tired but I have no choice. I'm just missing the dough for the buns. This buns is very, very easy to bake. I will be leaving the link of this buns recipe in my description box. Make sure you check it out, okay? Keep on watching guys. This is the meat I will be adding to the stew. I don't like it when it's very fresh and raw. So I just have to dry it in the oven and uh, I have dried it now. You can see adding it to the stew. I just reduce my cooker so that the stew will done 
easily so i finish frying my buns and now i'm i'm, I'm turning my semo this is what we call katofi puree here this is potato flour or what did you guys call it you know what i'm talking about i'm going to be dishing it out the way everybody will take it okay keep on watching guys i hope you enjoy today video So guys, this is the finished look of everything I prepared today. This is the egusi soup. This egusi soup there is really spicy and yummy. This is my stew. And uh, you guys saw how I prepared everything just for today. So this is the pandedian we are going to be eating. And the children said they need buns. And I also fried buns for them. This is the buns. This buns is mine so guys this buns is my sister recipe she's also a youtuber her youtube name is life with rosie guys check out her channel she's a food lifestyle okay i will be leaving the recipe of these buns in the description buns okay in the description box below oh my god i'm tired guys i'll be leaving the link of this uh, buns recipe i use her recipe to make these buns it's so yummy and crunchy guys just take a look just take a look and it's very simple to make you know if you just follow her step the way she makes it you will get exactly crunching buns like this so these are everything i prepared today and um, the girls are calling me i just want to round up today's vlog and um, thank you all for always coming to work.